I'm sure there's not a person in this room who hasn't heard of the wonders of the little blue pill shown behind me. You may have seen commercials telling men that when the moment is right, they may want to ask their doctors about Viagra. Well, have you thought about the women? My research aims to show that this little blue pill may truly be a wonder for both men and women because we believe that Viagra may be able to prevent colon cancer. Colon cancer is the second deadliest cancer in the United States. In 2017, it is estimated that over 50,000 people will die of this disease. That's nearly a quarter of the population of Augusta. What many of us may not realize is that our lifetime risk of getting colon cancer is about 1 in 20 for both men and women. So for every 20 people in this room, one of us may have to face colon cancer in our lifetime. These odds could be worse. Perhaps if a mother, a father, maybe a brother or sister was diagnosed with colon cancer. People who suffer from inflammation in their intestines, such as Crohn's disease and colitis, have an even higher risk. And unfortunately, there are those among us that are born with faulty genes. And for them, the question isn't, will I get colon cancer? It's when. Currently, your doctor's toolbox has very few treatments for colon cancer, which is why the best way for us to fight against this disease is through prevention. So our laboratory has found that when we give mice Viagra in their drinking water, it increases a special chemical in their colons called cyclic GMP. And we believe that this changes the colon in a way that protects it against inflammation and cancer. So we have two models. We have one mouse that experiences chronic inflammation and another mouse that has faulty genes. These two mice mimic people in our population that are at higher risk of getting colon cancer. My results show that when we give these mice Viagra in their drinking water, it reduces the number of tumors by 50%. So while we don't know exactly how Viagra is doing this, our laboratory hopes that one day we can offer yet another drug in your doctor's toolbox to help fight and prevent against colon cancer particularly in high-risk patients. So now that I've told you that this drug that we're normally accustomed to treating erectile dysfunction in men may actually be a way to prevent colon cancer in men and women, when the moment is right, we may all be asking our doctors about Viagra.